yearly mass intentions thanksgiving for all the graces and blessings showered on tatredi francis reddy and family offered by tatredi chinapredi and family for the repose of the soul of mrs monica somasundaram offered by judy and owen for the departed souls of paris and salana families and all friends offered by gladwin paris thanksgiving mass to sacred heart of jesus for good health peace happiness and protection of family members throughout the year offered by mrs annie days thanksgiving mass to sacred heart of jesus for all the blessings on the family offered by ludraj swapna mary sara for god's grace and blessings throughout the year on mb charles and all his family members and as thanksgiving for all the blessings received and god's providence offered by family members thanksgiving and for a better year offered by mrs maria de souza healing of the family tree of savio and jyoti for spiritual physical and emotional healing of all family members offered by savio and jyoti for the repose of soul of linnet pinto offered by aloysius pinto for the repose of the soul of marian pinto offered by aloysius pinto dear rodriguez and v de souza thanks god for all the blessings received so far and request for good health for all in their family job security and promotion and god's protection at all times praying for all departed souls of the de souza and rodriguez family family members offers this mass for the departed soul of venugopal n for spiritual welfare and deliverance of riya for spiritual welfare of pradhan and family mass offered by anian this mass is offered for the soul of manuel perez and maggie perez by teresa peter and family for the soul of tuma rochamma by t balreddy and family for the soul of anthony rajesh by family members for all souls in the family by p chaurilu thanksgiving mass for all the favors received by andrew thanksgiving mass to our lady of good health by simon thanksgiving mass to our lady of velankani by simon thanksgiving mass to sacred heart of jesus by simon thanksgiving mass for special blessings on father paul raj on his 35th priestly ordination day by family members thanksgiving mass by mendis and family for the soul of john mendis hazel agnel korea by mendis and family for special intentions by mendis and family praying for these intentions and for ourselves let's call on the triune god as we begin this mass in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace and peace of our lord be with you all and with your spirit let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this mass worthily
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, to my faults, to my faults, to my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who willed that through the Paschal Mysteries, the gates of mercy should stand open for your faithful. Look upon us and have mercy, that as we follow by your gift the way you desire for us, so may we never stray from the path of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, taken from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 6, verses 1 to 7. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In these days, when the disciples were increasing in number, a complaint by Hellenists arose against the Hebrews, because the widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. And the twelve summoned the full number of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brothers, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint in this, to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the whole gathering. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. These they said before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands on them. And the word of God continued to increase. And the numbers of disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests became obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. May your merciful love be upon us as we hope in you, O Lord. May your, May your merciful, merciful love be upon us, us as we hope in you, O Lord. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for the upright. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp with a ten-string lute, sing him songs. Our response. May, May your merciful, merciful love be upon us, us as we hope, hope in you, O Lord. Lord. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and his merciful love fills the earth. Our response. May, May your merciful, merciful love be upon us, us as we hope, hope in you, O Lord. O Lord. Yes, the Lord's eye are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our response, may, may your merciful love be upon us as, as we hope in you, in you O Lord. Lord. Gospel acclamation.
Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Christ has risen. Christ has risen. Who made all things. And He all is. He has shown mercy on all people. He has sought it and granted. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. When evening came, the disciples of Jesus went down to the lake, got into a boat, and started across the lake to Capernaum. It was now dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The lake became rough because a strong wind was blowing. When they had roved about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the lake and coming near the boat, and they were frightened. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. Then they were glad to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat was at the land to which they were going. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, Jesus appearing to the disciples and appearing as is walking on the water. This scripture reading teaches us profound truths. You know, I was gog uh, googling who can walk on the water. The Bible says only God can walk on the water. By walking on the water, Jesus is showing his divine self. Water is considered something that will pull us down. And one of the symbolisms of water is evil. Jesus, by walking on the water, he shows that evil cannot subdue him, neither in desert, which is once again a place where the Symbolically, evil would stay, and water, they cannot. And he shows himself as the Lord of all creation. And dear brothers and sisters, this God who has shown his divine nature, when the disciples are afraid looking at him, he also tells, it is I. He is God of present. It was, it will be, it is I. And he tells, this is the God also today, for us it is I. And this God, as we come to worship, dear brothers and sisters, May we pray, God, whenever in my life, anything that bothers me, come around. And how I wish to see your divine works in my love, life. How I wish to see your divine presence in my life, like you did to the disciples. And help me to believe that you are the Lord above all creations. Amen.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand for the praise of the glory of His name, for our good and the Lord of His holy church. Let us pray. Sanctify graciously these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, Overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who, who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins to others in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim we your death, death, O Lord, and profess, and profess your, resurrection your resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Pula Anthony, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said it to your apostles, peace I live you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, I have some announcements about the Gregorian Mass. Are we all aware of that, Gregorian Mass? I think I have been preaching about this one. So November 2nd, we normally pray for the souls, isn't it? We just pray, I remember our family members who are departed from us. That day, maybe on their birthday, maybe on their death anniversary, we pray. But what is Gregorian Mass? Is? Gregorian Mass is 
30 days continuous prayers without any break. The speciality of Gregorian Mass is we pray for one soul for 30 days continuously. Suppose if I say like 10 days Mass and the 11th day if there is a break then what I have to do is from 12th day onwards I have to continuously do again for 30 days. So there should not be any break on any reason. 30 days continuously praying for the departed souls. This Gregorian Mass is very powerful because when you pray for the soul, those souls who are caught up in purgatory, they are lifted up to heaven. So this is the tradition of the Catholic Church. This Gregorian Mass is exclusively for the departed souls. There should not be any mixed intentions. Birthday or maybe marriage anniversary or thanksgiving, there should not be any mixed intentions. This is exclusively for the departed souls. So we are going to have a separate mass. It is not 8 o'clock mass, it is not 10 o'clock mass. We are going to have separate mass and it will be live telecast, my dear friends. So kindly call to the number which you see on the screen and book the masses. Normally in Catholic Hub, 100 rupees only for the mass, not for 30 days. For 30 days it will be 3000 rupees. So this is our responsibility, my dear friends, that we have. Members, when we pray for others, one day we also will die. One day somebody have to keep masses for us. So this will be a good and spiritual tradition. So kindly tell your friends, tell your family members that we are going to start the Gregorian Mass. Please call to the number and book your masses. into his wonderful light. Hallelujah. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord is with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is offered. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. <laughs> 